Hello there YouTube, it's PC Gaming XI here and I'm going to be giving you a full uh, depth in-depth tutorial on setting up a bucket server. Not the Minecraft default, a bucket server. So first off we want to do is right click new folder. Rename it to whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it server because that's what I'm creating. Right. What you want to do before you do any of the server is go to this website. Type in on Google. So We'll go to Google. Or I could just press home. <laughs> go to Google. Google. Type in Java. Like that. J R E. Then you should see the first one called Java SE Downloads. Click on that. Then what you want to do is where it says Java SE 7U2, or it made that number may change. Doesn't matter. What you want to do is click this one. Java J R E Download. Then it'll bring you to this page. So you choose your operating system. So you click accept. So if you're on Windows 64 bit, you download Windows X64. If you're on 32 bit, you download Windows X86 32 bit. So there are your two links. If you're on anything else, you know, download. But mainly this is a Windows tutorial, so just them two. So choose your operating system. You don't know what bit you've got. Start. Right click. My computer on the computer. Go down to properties and then it should tell you there you're on a 64 bit operating system um, then what you want to do is just download it install it and then that's that I'm not doing it because I've already got it done and there's no point in wasting time showing you so the next thing you want to be able to do is go to this website here it's called um, wiki.bucket.org slash setting underscore up underscore a underscore server so this will be labeled number two and the java jre will be linked number one so what you want to do is, because you have Java 7 installed, which is the one I just told you to install, what you want to do is copy this one here. So copy that, minimize that, open up the server folder, so it should be blank like this. Right click, go down to new, text document. Don't worry about naming it, because it's going to get deleted. You want to open it, and then paste in the code that I just told you. Right, so you got that code. Don't do anything with it yet. The next thing you'll need to download is this craft bucket. Link will be in the description. It is link number three. So once you've got it downloaded, it should look a bit like this or whatever program you use to extract stuff. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean that. Uh, whatever you do, what you're going to do is just right click, extract files, extract here. So then you should get this snap, snapshot.jar. What you want to do is just drag that into the server folder so it should look like that right click rename it copy it so you might not get the dot jar because i have file extensions on but what you're going to do is just rename it copy it what you want to do is then go over to this and then where it says craft bucket there all the way up to r1 what you want to do is just replace that so press either control or v control v and then press r you can do cop highlight and paste so it should look a bit like that Right. So what you're gonna do then is go to file save as and then what you wanna do is rename it to server no for a minute run server dot BAT. If you do not put the BAT it will not work and just save as a text document. So now you just close that. You may when you double click this, I will more than likely get an error. If you don't get an error, then you know just watch the video and just wait you know till the next part comes on this is for people who get this error so if you run it and like oh it actually worked first time uh, when you run it first time it should look a bit like this. it should say warning failed 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 you know you just gotta give it a minute let it spawn but inside your folder you should see all of this okay so once you've got all of this what you wanna do then is stop that so stopping 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 Right, because I'm on 64 bit, it works perfectly fine. If you're on 32 bit, so just close that. Right, so you're on 32 bit and it's not works, you've got none of these files. So just imagine none of these files are here, okay? Go to the run server, dot bat, right click, go to edit. Then where it says program files, just put bracket x 86 bracket like that then just file save 
and then I'm probably going to get an error because I'm on th not on 32, I'm on 64 bit, but then yours should start to load and all your things will come. So I'm just going to do mine again. If you're on 64 bit, you do not need to do this. Just don't copy anything that I just did. So now you've got your server running, working perfectly fine. So you may be thinking, okay, I've got it working, that's all good. How do I get my friends to join? Right. There's two ways of doing it. You can port forward, which is the way I've normally done it. Or you can uh, Hamachi. I can't show you how to port forward because every single router is different. I repeat, every single router is different. I could show you for my router, which is Sky, and some of you will understand it, whereas others will have a Netgear router and it just won't work for them at all because it's completely different. But I'll show you how to do it the Hamachi way. So first off, what you want to do is go to this website called, um, just type in Hamachi on Google, first one comes up, it's called Log Me In. Sign up, blah, 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 download it, and then you should get Hamachi like this, or in your downloads folder. What I do is run it, and then just install it. So next, 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 great desktop shortcut, next, and then just leave it while it installs. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. If not, then I'll cut this part of the video. If it does, now I'll cut this part of the video. Oh, there we go. It's nearly done. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to pause the video here while it installs. And, yeah. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, make sure it's recording. Um, as you can see, it's, it's done. It's installed. Click launch. Make sure the launch. They should say starting Hamachi. Give it a second. So once you've logged in and stuff like that, you'll see your IP right there. So as you can see, it, it's 5.42.139.59. If you want your friends to join this, what you've got to do is make sure you are hosting. Oh crap! Put it back online. Need me to click that. What you got to do is make sure you're hosting. So create a new network, and then hold on. Let it synchronize, probing, whatever. What you gotta do is create a new network. And then you can call it whatever you want. So, we'll call it my server. And then the password is what you tell people. So, I'm just gonna put it as 1234. Okay. Put Minecraft name on the end of it. There we go. So, I've got my servers apps to create. So, now if people wanna join it, they have to. I don't know how to join other servers. I can't remember. Oh, you click. So for people who are joining someone's server, click join an existing network and then type in the network name. So it will be my server zaps2k8 and then the password. Crap, spell that wrong. Type that wrong. Saying and then you join the network. That's how you join it. But this is how you set it up to work. Open up the server folder again and then go down to server properties. And then what you gotta do is just open it. Yours probably won't open up in a program like this, but it'll look similar to this. This is where you edit your server properties. Right. For port forwarders, you do not need to copy the one of the steps, and I'll tell you which one that is. For non-port forwarders, this is what you do. Well, this is helpful as well. So if you want to enable the nether, you set that to true. If you don't want it, false. Level name, change the name world. So I'm gonna call it uh, Super world bitches. So then, when it creates the world, when it renders the world out, it'll be called Super World Bitches. Uh, enable query. I don't know what that is. Enable flight means uh, are you allowing people to have fly mod? If true, then they can. If you set that to true, they can fly around and not get kicked. False, they'll get kicked. Server port. That's the port you put port forward with. So, if you want to change that, that's what you change your port forward to. Level and type. Just leave it as that leave that don't mess with that right this is for Hamachi people only non port forwarders what you want to do is type in your Hamachi IP so that there I think you can copy it let me just check before I yeah right so what you're doing is you just right click this copy IPv4 if it does not work copying it just type it in manually so it's just there remember yours is different to mine do not copy mine or it just won't work Spawn NPCs means you want them Squidwards to be spawned. And then the rest of kind of whitelist means only certain people who are on this whitelist can join. If true, then none randomers can join. If false, then anyone can join. Spawn animals, pretty 
it's like self-explanatory online mode right this is for people who have cracked minecraft online mode means people who have bought it can only join if that's false like that then people who have cracked minecraft can join pvp so people versus people do you want other people killing other people i normally have that on false difficulty range between one to three uh, one being easy, three being hard. So three. Game mode. Zero is non-creative. One is creative mode. Max players is how many people you want to join your server. So you know you could have anywhere between 500 million, like that, to one. So one. So first one joins. If that's you, then that server's full. So I just have a normal ten. Small monsters. Self-explanatory. View distance. It reduces lag if you put it on five. And then a message of the day is at the bottom it will save so we'll call it super happy server. And it's what people see when they add the server to the list. So what you do is you want to do is just save that. So now we'll go back to the server file. So the server is now set up. Okay, so what we do is run the server. So just give it a minute because remember I did rename my world to Super World Bitches. Now what you gotta do is just load up Minecraft while that's doing that. Log in. And then what you gonna do is go to multiplayer, add a server. And then you can call it whatever you want. So we'll call it my server. So it's my server. And then what I want to do is type in the Hamachi IP 42.139.59. Click done. And it should work, hopefully. Okay, if not, that's how people join your server then. They've got to type in that to join the server. I think if I put 22565, I think that might work. Never mind. Hmm. But anyway, that's how people join your server on Hamachi. I honestly don't know how to set it up Hamachi that well, so you know, it's kind of new to me doing this. Edit. <laughs> Just give me a second to figure it out. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Ah, I know why I can't join it now. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to join your own server, you gotta do is type in this number. So point three nine point five nine because I typed something wrong. And then your server should be up like that. So, and then, as you remember, message of the day: super happy server. Double click it, and you're in. And then when you punch spawn, you may think, oh, why can't I have late box? There is a 15 block radius of um, like default unable to break stuff. What you're gonna do is just run all the way over here. As you can see, I can now break blocks. But then some of you guys are thinking, wait, how do I make myself like owner of the server? What I do is just stop the server. So stop. Minimize Minecraft. Go back to the server folder. Then look for a thing called ops. It's called ops. OPS. Double click that and just add your name to it. Oh, we'll call it. So add my name to it. So now I'm on the ops list. So when I run the server again, if you get a message saying server permissions file is empty, ignore it. Just do what it says, ignore it. <laughs> uh, go back to multiplayer, join the server, and now you can break spawn as well because you're op. And that means you can spawn items. So give zaps to get one. And there you go, I got one stone. Stuff like that. If you want to change your game mode in game because you're up, you go slash game mode zaps 2k8, so your name one, and then I'll change my and then that changes my game mode for me. So that's how you do it. Right now for non hamachias how to join your own server. So stop. Okay, let me just. Don't copy any of this, I'm just editing my server dead quick. So non hamachias you should it should look a bit like this. You know your normal server folder. Port whatever you port forward to.
what you want to do to join your own server is just add a server call it whatever I'm going to call it call it pi right to join your own server just you no one to join yet you type you press shift and get the dot dot put the port number so if you don't know what your port number is open that up and then it's that whatever number you've put there so copy that and then just paste it in so 25565 that's one way to join your server and let me just put it up a second probably will end up loading up my server ignored that one in the background didn't mean that one um, so give it a second to load, 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 fresh and as you can see um, sorry, we've got like 10 servers all the same thing and as you can see there 25565 I can join my own server and then you know I'm in my own server right now for your friends to join once you've port forwarded you don't need to do anything else now what you want to do is go onto google and type in what's my IP and that IP there is what you tell your friends so you send them a message on Skype or whatever you just send them this um, format font I'll just make it slightly bigger for you so you can read it this is what you send to your friends who are I don't know everywhere around the world if it loads, which I don't think it's going to. <laughs> I crashed notepad, there we go, it's because I've got so many fonts, we'll put it on 78. Send this to your friends, put your IP in there, so insert IP here, dot dot, 25565, and then just do this. Join my super kin epic awesome amazing server just send them that you know so they join and then what they do is just copy that in and to copy that into the minecraft so they'll go oh add server then the IP and then the dot dot two five five six five and then that'll be them then they can join if you try and do this it won't work for you all just simples so that's how to set up a server for everyone Hamachi non Hamachi -ers. Um but yeah so thank you for watching i hope this tutorial helps so yep yeah, rate comment and subscribe if you got any questions feel free to drop a comment so yep yeah, thank you for watching hello there youtube it's pc gaming next i here giving you another news and updates um so Recently I ordered my new mic which is good, I've not got it yet, I'm still using the same shitty one so there'll be no videos like that I haven't been pre-recorded till like the microphone is done if you get me till I've got the microphone so no videos till then but like I said I still have microphones to upload for you them too which will be uploaded probably tomorrow and the day after Um, like I said I've not been playing that much games. I've only just recently started playing Minecraft again. Hopefully, in the Minecraft uh, Let's Play, I should have some mods installed. I'm probably going to get more creatures, more creeps and weirdos, timber mod, and I'll try and get the tree mod where it gives us different trees. And any other mods, please just suggest them to me in a message. Um, I'm also going to start doing more tutorials and stuff like that. So if you've got a tutorial, just message me and like I'll see if I can sort a tutorial out for you. And that's pretty much it. Um, recently, I have also been playing uh, RuneScape. <laughs> um, thought I'd play a different game for once. So I started playing this again. If you want videos on this, just tell me and I will upload a video for you on it. Uh, that's pretty much it for this week. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. And, yep, thank you for watching. Great comment and subscribe.